on her own for the first time, a young cheetah begins the most challenging year of her life. Starting with breakfast. When the world's fastest mammal pursues a gazelle that can keep up its speed much longer, stealth counts. Then it's zero to 95 in three seconds. While she tries to be discreet, these three males demand attention. A spritz of urine warns away male trespassers. And it shows the ladies who rules this territory. The young female tells the amorous Cheetah brothers she's not in the mood. After they sniff her, neither are they. This female's not in estrus. She's already pregnant. In about three months, she will be a first-time mother. For skilled hunters, the wildebeest migration provides plenty of opportunity. The brothers stroll their 100 square kilometer territory like they own the place. Hunting together gives them an advantage the lone pregnant female doesn't have. They can gang up and take down a wildebeest, but today nature hands them a gift. A weakened one. The brothers get treated to lunch while the female goes hungry. advances and slows her down just when she most needs to eat. She'll have to settle for easier prey. Another night, another empty belly. Soon, she'll get desperate. Find a 
safe place to sleep. The savanna is most active in the cooler hours of the day. But during the night, a calf lost its mother. found a ravenous mother-to-be. enjoy her hard-won meal in private, so stronger predators won't steal it. Nearby, a more experienced cheetah mom takes a well-deserved break. Her large litter of six keeps her almost constantly on the hunt. Females have no fixed territories. They follow the food and try to stay out of each other's way. If all goes well, the younger female will soon care for cubs of her own. A few weeks pass, and the savannah welcomes a new generation. The first time mother delivers four healthy cubs. She'll keep them hidden up to eight weeks. For now, their world is all teats and tongue baths. Life in the lair will never be easier. For the inexperienced mother, it just got harder. In this season of birth, the mother cheetah doesn't need to leave her cubs vulnerable for long.
of Savannah's danger cuts both ways. The older cheetah mother couldn't protect her cubs. She lost half of her litter and all of her confidence. Even the vultures terrify her because they can attract more predators to the carcass and to her surviving babies. While the younger female strolls jauntily back to her little ones, the older cat's family finds solace in the shade. But both mothers are in for a nasty surprise. Female cheetahs don't get along. A fight can be fatal. Even a minor injury could slow one of these sprinters, take her out of the hunt, and spell starvation for mother and cubs. Everything rests on the next move. Retreat is the better part of valor. With lionesses, it's another story. The pride won't hesitate to kill any strange female who dares to approach its territory. So a solitary mother and her cubs can never stay anywhere for long. The males see lone females as a chance to mate But a mother cat is not a mating cat. So to put her in the reproductive mood, the lions will do their best to kill her babies. The lioness will do her best to stop them. She launches a ferocious defense against these single-minded males. distracts her. The other slips past. She's 
exhausted. It's over. she has lost already. It's November. The rain falls harder than usual. The young mother cheetah takes advantage, using the blinding rain to sneak up on her prey. The young mother reassures her soggy cubs. Despite her inexperience, she has kept them safe. But today, she faces the biggest challenge of all. The Savannah's most notorious killer, times two. Lions spots the young cheetah mother. She can't let them find her cubs. She could lose them all. Here comes the cavalry. Passing wildebeests draw the lion's attention. break away from the herd and steer toward the scrub, leaving themselves ripe for ambush and revealing the older cheetah mother's hiding place where she stashed her three surviving cubs. haven't noticed the babies. She must try to drive the lions off before they do. Too late. The lions catch the scent of the cubs and forget the wildebeest. The mother risks death to buy time for her young ones.
doesn't make it. In a single month, the cheetah's large family has shrunk from six cubs to a more typical two. She leaves to find a safe shelter, though the savanna is no guarantees. The instant the other cats leave, the younger female also moves her cubs to a new hideout. Where the grass hasn't been trampled and doesn't smell of cheetah cubs. She'll move them many times over the next two months until they can follow her on their own. Each move risks discovery, but overstaying is risky too. Nearby, a leopard hides cubs of her own. They're old enough to practice hunting mom's leftovers. As the mother leopard rests after her meal, the little ones practice climbing, excited by the smell of her kill. Their commotion invites trouble. And here it comes, the nomadic lioness. She lost her last cub. The little climbers try to make themselves invisible. No use. The smell of the carcass gives them away. The lioness isn't sure what she's found yet. giving the leopard and cubs some time, but not enough. The lioness won't hesitate to kill the cubs, and even the mother. Not today. Their camouflage lets them vanish into the bushes.
near the end of January, when the weather finally calms, the grass shoots up to nearly a meter tall. The stalks, tough to eat and blocking the view, force some grazers to huddle together among the shorter plants. The dense growth also makes life difficult for the cheetah mother and her four hungry cubs. In the prairie, thick as pea soup, she can spend days trying to spot prey. Whipping grass stings her eyes. It is mainly the sound of her target guiding her. run herself to exhaustion with nothing to show for it. Even though she goes hungry, she still has milk for her youngsters. For now. If they stay here, they'll starve.
After a short rest, she leads her family on a journey beyond the endless sea of grass. Cubs eagerly begin their adventure, but the fun doesn't last. After just a few kilometers, the journey turns into an arduous trek. The exhausted Cubs, not used to drinking water, get to try something new. It's their first taste of what life on the savannah has in store for them. It won't always be this sweet. Over the past month, the little family has roamed north. Only three cubs have made it this far. Two sisters and a brother. They can easily keep up with their mother now, though she has to hunt daily to satisfy their voracious appetites. terrain suits her. Remarkably, almost every second attempt scores a kill. Her cubs thrive. Over a year, she can wander more than 500 square kilometers in search of the best hunting grounds. Just shy of their first birthday, the three cubs have shed their baby fucks, but not their inexperience. They don't know what to make of the rushing Mara River. Unless she has to, even their mother won't try to cross the fast flowing water. The family has reached the far north of the Serengeti. Soon the youngsters will have to fend for themselves. To prepare them, mother supervises their hunt. They still have a few things to learn. 
especially about warthogs. Also, never underestimate your opponent. These two more experienced males patrol this territory, and they know how to satisfy a craving for poultry. After they enjoy their little snack, they're ready to confront the strange cheetah family that wandered onto their turf. Any trespassers are of great interest to them. As the two males check out the intruders, the sisters slink away, leaving mother to handle their overtures. They stop long enough to chase off the young males. Frisky foreplay is typical male behavior, but she's just not that into them. And won't be until her cubs are a bit older. Not getting what they came for, the two males let the family go on its way. It's almost graduation day, but only if they pass their finals. Hidden by the rippling heat and dappled shade, the young hunter singles out a gazelle fawn.
cleat-like claws and a rudder tail, the cat turns on a dime. The siblings join the fray. Mom follows, but she doesn't interfere. The siblings have passed their exam, and so has their mother. Fulfilling her mission, she surrenders them to the Savannah. The young adults will stay together a few more months. The two sisters soon will go their separate ways as solitary hunters and mothers. Their brother will team up with another male to conquer a territory of his own. Now the young mother will rest and regain her strength. She won't stay solitary for long. Soon the cycle will start again with new challenges for the devoted experienced Mother Cheetah.